Four shot after altercation in St. Cloud, one discharged, three remain in stable condition. Investigators believe the shooting occurred after a heated verbal altercation that escalated into multiple handguns being fired. Uh, this was published on K-A-R-E. Uh, author was David Griswold, and this happened on July 6, 2022. So St. Cloud, Minnesota, police are investigating after four people, including a 15-year-old boy, were shot after an argument between two groups led to an exchange of gunfire Wednesday night in St. Cloud. The other three gunshot victims, all adult males, range in age from 19 to 21 years old. Officials say the shooting occurred just after 5.45 p.m. Wednesday in an alley near 6th Avenue and 11th Street South. In a press release Thursday, St. Cloud police say they located one of the men at the scene with a gunshot wound to his head. Jesus Christ. The other three had already left the scene later, arriving at St. Cloud Hospital for treatment. Needless to say, all lives matter. Even if these men, you know, survive these gunshots, they will have permanent lifelong damage, especially if you get shot in the head. Your life will never be the same after that. And I know the July 4th shooting is getting all the attention in the U.S. and everybody's focused on the Remo guy. Uh, who shot up the uh, J July 4th parade. But since then, there have been numerous mass shootings in the U.S. since July 4th. And this goes to show that this problem will not end until we abolish the Second Amendment. All lives matter. All lives matter. The 21-year-old St. Cloud man with the gunshot wound to the head was discharged on Thursday while the other three men remain hospitalized. The news release says the others injured include a 15-year-old from St. Cloud who had a gunshot wound to the shoulder and neck, a 19-year-old man from Mora who was shot in the elbow, and a 21-year-old St. Cloud man shot in the chest. All remain stable condition as of Thursday afternoon, according to police. Police say no arrests have been made. So petty, stupid disputes can be settled with gunshots in the U.S. because we have a gun culture that allows to permeate and allows people to purchase guns legally or illegally. All legal weapons were purchased illegally at one point. Ghost guns are rampant on the street and nobody wants to do anything about it. In fact, they want more guns in the hands of Americans. When will this end? And when will the typos end? Every time I read one of these, I get massive typos. What does it say about our country that, you know, these mass shootings that happen too frequently can be underreported and also at the same time their articles can have typos that I have to read over and make me sound crazy. Now, I want to talk about Minnesota because I spent a summer in Minnesota, in Minneapolis actually, and I had a very fond memory and image of the city being there. It's very multicultural, very, uh, how can I say this? It seems like what America like should be, I guess. Minneapolis is like a cool city. I really like Minneapolis. And I looked up St. Cloud because I remember the name. I never really left the Minneapolis St. Paul area, but St. Cloud was one name that I heard of a lot. And it's only about an hour away. And this goes to show that gun violence permeates all corners of America. I've covered mass shootings in all states all the cities. And uh, yeah, it won't end until we actually get rid of the gun, gun culture and change our mindset. If you would rather attack me rather than attack the Second Amendment, fuck you, suck my dick. You know how I feel. If you're only concerned about this as well, it won't, it won't happen to me or my family. Probably won't. More people die of heart disease. You know, uh, how can I say this? Car accidents, then gun violence. But these are all preventable deaths. The gun, the, the mass shootings in America are becoming more frequent and more violent and more deadly. And uh, while they might never happen to you, that shouldn't be a reason not to care about this issue because we are all Americans and we should all try to have a society that is safe for our children and all of us. Stop the gun permeation. Stop the proliferation of weapons on the streets. Get rid of the handguns. Let's make our community safer. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching, and I hope all of these men recover.